Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you. you. And we're so glad that you're here once again, uh, day 19. And yes. um, it's just been such a joy to kind of be able to just share. I really truly have just been loving just the Lord coming in and just being able to do these videos. It's been really fun. It's amazing. And um, you know what's interesting? We started this year with a 21 day thing, mm -hmm. but that was also the pregnancy process. That was the filling of mm -hmm. our like, hey, this is what's getting ready to happen for you. And now you gotta wait like the 40 weeks. <laughs> yeah. But then here toward the end of it, he comes in with another 21 th day yeah. thing. So it's like this bookend mm -hmm. of something that I think there's more revelation for it, but it's just been really cool. Yeah, and that's it really, me agreeing with you, basically. Yeah, that's. well, and we, I think we <laughs> talked about this, but just how like the beginning of the year it was like the really 21 days with the spirit. It was mm -hmm. very much just centered on yeah. the worship, but these last 21 days have really been about the word and what God is speaking, and the so heart of God, yeah, and and just that getting fat on the word, and so mm -hmm. I've just really been loving it. Yeah. Um, I yeah. hope you guys have been enjoying this as well, yeah. and. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so we have exciting things to share with you guys today, too. And but you can, first, you can tell by the title, like what kind of, <laughs> what kind of message is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> but um, before we start that, as always, we want to give a huge thank you to everyone who continues to give to us. We yes. appreciate all of you. Yes. Um, and. So just a huge thank you to you. And also, Everybody. if you would like to give to us, you can. Um, we have a PayPal link below, and you can just click that. Yep. So, yeah. So today, you know, it's it's a funny title, but... Um, <laughs> Arr. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and we just think it's funny because I think we mentioned it before. We've just had... A, the Lord's brought all these, like, pirate type pictures in just random places for us this week and we're still like okay lord give us revelation but a lot of it has to we had the word plunder and we talked yeah. about just plundering the enemy and if the lord is basically saying like the enemy is going to be stripped down and it's like that's when you go and plunder you know when the walls of jericho fell down that's when god's people went straight before them and they basically went into the city and took over the city now in that case with jericho the lord kept all of the um the plunder for himself mm -hmm. um but the idea is just like until the lord you know the lord breaks in and he's like okay now you can take over well and isn't it interesting that we started this 21 days off with the battle belongs to the mm -hmm. lord and every time the battle belongs to the lord he always sends the enemy into confusion and they kill themselves or they go running or whatever it mm -hmm. is but they leave all of their stuff behind yeah and then the, the people of god come in and pick it up yeah and you know? and that's actually something we've been seeing a lot of is the plunder uh, yeah, and it's the 1101 and 1107, and for us, when we see have seen those numbers in combination together, um, or just even the 1101, which actually, if you look in the Hebrew, it's the word um, confound or mix, which is found in Genesis chapter 11, verse 7, which is about the Lord coming down and mixing the languages. And, and so there's just this sense of the Lord coming and mixing and confusing the enemy. Mm -hmm. And so I think that it, we've been yep. seeing that a lot a throughout these 21 days. Saw it today. And uh, yeah. Didn't tell you about it, but there you go. Yeah. <laughs> 1101. Yep. Like, Whoa, that, okay, here we go. And so I think that the Lord's really just kind of showing his heart there of like, this is what I'm doing. Bringing confusion to the enemy and just like, mm -hmm. and when that happens, just like in, um, really just so many examples all so over the scripture examples. but yeah. you know second chronicles chapter 20 um you start at verse 17 through just all the way through um it's there the people are worshiping and during the night the word sends the three armies into confusion and at the end of it they just go and collect all of the spoils all the plunder they're just going and all right this is the Israelites. The Israelites. Yeah. Yes. The enemy <laughs> gets thrown into confusion, and, and the Israelites, and the Israelites. The plunder. Yeah. Yes. And um, and so I just believe that that's what the Lord is talking about even now. Like He's sending the enemy into confusion. He's He's confusing the things um, 
that have been coming against his God's people. Yep. And as he's doing that, it's like there's gonna there's this moment where it's like, all right, you're my people. Now you can go forward. You know, just like the we were talking about, the Lord goes before us like a tornado. He's coming through and he's destroying, confusing um, the enemy that's trying to you know that's been you know encamped. You know, in different places of our hearts, it's yep. it's our hearts, it's it's in life, nations, and just yeah, and you know, so many different levels. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so God can, you know, God comes in and He's going to bring the confusion, and then it's in those moments that it's like, okay, guys, now you go. I love how it with the walls of Jericho, it says that. You know, and then they went straight before, you know, every before, man, every straight man before straight before him, before him. Yeah. meaning like each person had this like, this is what's in front of me. I'm going to go and receive this. And I feel like with God's people, that's exactly what he's done. He's put upon mm -hmm. our hearts certain things that it's like when the walls are down, like that's when we are going to go before us. You know, God's given us those things upon our heart as like this, this is what I'm going after. And we all have certain directions God has already put upon us to go. And yeah. so when when the walls come down, it's like, boom, here we go. And that's the plundering that's going to be taking place. Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to go throughout the whole promised land. Exactly. Yes. Receiving, coming, you like know. Like that thumbnail where the eagle comes and catches yes. the fish. Oh, got some plunder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and so it's like we're coming into, I think, this time where the Lord is saying, like, yes, things are down. The walls are down. This is the time to go. Mm -hmm. This is the time for you to, you know, it's being, like, released from the gates. We've, you know, had that idea and a picture of, you know, even being, like, um, just getting ready to run, you know, like mm -hmm. horses behind the gates, you know, they're, they're ready to go, ready to go, but they can't go until the gates are open. Yeah. And, and then yeah. they can just go as fast as they want to go <laughs> down the racetrack you know Get ready. and so it's like <laughs> even with the lord like there's going to be this moment where he's like you're going to be released from the stall you're going to be released from from the cave um really the doors are going to be blown open and you're going to come into the banqueting halls and and be mm -hmm. feasting on the promises and um yeah and so all of that to it's kind of a side message note that's the intro <laughs> it's kind of a pr prophetic preacher's intro yes. and now on with my message yes <laughs> and in conclusion oh boy oh, we better okay. sit back and chill out no, <laughs> he gonna go on another hour <laughs> but yes yeah, so i'm just that's... trying to get home i'm hungry yeah it's six o'clock in the evening you know <laughs> We've been at church all day, and now you're concluding. You know. What I'm <laughs> so that's kind of where we got this title with the R, <laughs> because we um, were in one of our God times, and um, really just we're talking actually about relationship. You know, God really is. That was about, yesterday, yeah. Yeah, it was yesterday yeah. morning, and it's about God is about relationships, and at first it was like. A relationship recipe is what we had it but you when you wrote it on the whiteboard it was like R R and, yeah. and then um, as we were going we were getting all these different R's um, yeah. and so it was just like hey it's like R <laughs> but um, I know it kind of came out I was like wow that's a lot of R's so it's like again another pirate thing yeah it's like this is crazy yeah and so I don't amazing. think you guys can see this it's looks white on there but basically let me see if I can put it up there we could just take a can picture you see it? it can you see it <laughs> no it looks just white it does. anyway <laughs> but anyway we had these this relationship recipe which really it ended up being more about a relationship ring and it made me think about marriage and mm. how in marriage you give rings um, and and so really with the Lord, He is about the the covenant relationship, mm -hmm. and and so if you can just picture like a ring, and um, but on this ring we basically were saying there's like three different things that are really important when it has to do with relationship, and 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 so why it's a ring is because you need all of those. And it just kind of keeps circling around. And the three mm -hmm. things are... Just and an, expanding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's like, so you have... The first thing was an open heart. You know, you have this open heart. And, it, and I think what's cool, too, is with the ring, it's not even necessarily like... 
oh you have to have this first and this second and this third it's like these are just all three components of how to have great relationship and yeah. great relationship with the of lord the ring, you know um where does the ring start I, I, Where does it end? Exactly. And it's like, no, as long as you have those elements, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, we were talking about having an open heart. Um, mm -hmm. Also with basically it's like honesty, of, you know, just telling the truth, being humble, meaning just being really just speaking with where you're at in life. Um, and that's even, you know, with the word. Um, telling the truth about where you're at, whether you like where you're at or whether you don't like where you're yeah. at. Telling the truth about what's going on with you, you know? And sometimes it takes that relationship to kind of dig out where you're actually at. Mm -hmm. You don't even know where you're at. Exactly. But as long as you keep telling the truth and being honest, we, you can get to the root of why you're feeling what you feel every time this trigger happens. Mm -hmm. Or thinking what you think every time you see this person or that thing or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. And then the third thing we had was trust. And, um, you know, trusting the person. And um, and so with the Lord, it's like we have these three things as part of the ring. And when you have just, when you continue, it's like you, you trust the Lord. Like the very, you know, when you come to know the Lord, you're like, all right, I'm going to trust you, Lord, with my life. And, and that actually starts opening up that door for relationship. And and then you have, you just open keep your heart open and continue to be honest with the Lord. And mm -hmm. But a lot of times, like even with, you know, because this is also even with relationships just in the natural, you know, just having an open heart, being honest, communicating, yeah. um, you know, building trust with the person that you're, you're with, you know. But um, a lot of times, in, you know, in relationships, but also even in our relationship with the word, um, parts of that ring can get broken. And it's in those times that it's like, okay, that can be really difficult. For example, trust mm -hmm. um, can get broken. Say you believed, you know, you had a word from the Lord, you really felt like it was the Lord, you're going, and then things just don't turn out the way that you thought they were gonna turn out, and your heart is just Especially broken. Especially when yeah. you thought it yeah. was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you know the when or even the how mm -hmm. like there you know for us in particular even on this part of our journey there's been many times but especially in the first year um we've where, gone through the who the what the when the how the why we've yeah. gone through all of it's gotten blown to pieces yeah and and <laughs> but like for me i was just like lord i thought you had said these things and here we are and it's not at all and and so there was this trust with the Lord that was broken. And in I'm just saying like for me personally, like I was telling the kids too, I was like, we would not be in the place that we're right now had you not continued to keep my heart open and talk to the Lord about what was going on, even though I was having a hard time trusting. Um, because what's even so though when you were communicating it, it was coming out exactly. ugly sometimes. That's what I was saying. I was going to say that. I was like, that's the thing. Even with like the honest and telling the truth, oh, and yes, yes. there is the humility piece in there. But sometimes, you know, it just comes out, and it's just like, but God, He's just like, yes, I want all of those things to come out. And we really have been in a time, you know, we're always covered by the mercy of God. But sometimes mm -hmm. the Lord will highlight a particular aspect of him in your life and the tender mercy is what god has been highlighting for us this whole time he's been carrying us in his tender mercy but he's been covering us with his mercy as well and and the mercy that god just like i'm just covering you i'm not like I'm here for you because this is a time of great growth and development. And when you're growing and developing, you're going to, it's going to be messy. It's going to, there's just, you know, like for me there's personally, gonna there's, there's going to be messy times, but God's like, I'm covering you in that. And so don't be afraid to really just express how you're feeling. It just let all of the, the pus and the, all that just ooze out because it needs to come out. All the tears and, and the snot. Yeah. <laughs> just let it let it trickle. Let it go. And and so <laughs> in that, like I've been through that so much, especially like I mean, Girl. when we first got here and you know, 
within that first month, I was just, my heart was so broken because it was you like, Lord, wrecked. you yeah. brought us here, but you still haven't fulfilled things. Like, what is going on? And I was just so upset with the word. I mean, just everything but it was still like okay i'm still coming to you i'm really angry at you mm -hmm. i don't you know i'm expressing all of these things and god's like i just cover you with my mercy and i think though the important part is to continue it's like all right i'm still gonna my heart might only be open about that big but at least mm -hmm. it's partly open and and god will continue to just can you fit a mustard seed through the opening exactly we're good <laughs> we're good we're good <laughs> and so and so the lord will continue to just use that and as we've gone through this journey god's really revealed certain things like well this is why at that time you know i know you thought things were going to happen this way but this is what i'm doing and do you see the bigger picture of well, what i'm doing yes we still have the three-year-old he's not taking naps these days so we're having to adjust <laughs> you got to adjust in life people mm -hmm. no, <laughs> but I was gonna say like as far as like God's leading you know we haven't talked about it in a while but like for those of you who remember like our our, our, our season of time with the corporation God was clearly leading us into that mm -hmm. he was clearly leading us into it and it was just like, and so as he's leading, oh, God's leading. This is his leadership. He's doing, yes, all right, cool. And then he led us out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we were like, what? Mm -hmm. We don't understand. But, and, and, and even in that, there was, by that time, the trust wasn't so much broken, but it was almost like there was a confusion mm -hmm. that came. Just like, we don't understand, but you know what? We're going to continue to exercise our trust. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to, to, you know, keep our hearts open and be honest with where we're at. And honest meaning we're confused. We don't understand. Why did you take us through this to begin with? What's going on? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and God you know? brought clarity even it, as we were going through it. Yep, he started he did. just bringing clarity. He was giving was... clarity before we asked for it. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but you it's know? like, I think that. Which only expanded our exactly. trust as we went on, you know? Yeah. And so I feel like it's just like with the this ring with the Lord and, you know, if in our hearts things get broken, it's like. The beauty is that if we continue to keep yourself open, no matter how small it is, or and you and you continue to be honest with the Lord, it will. He can mend the trust part, and He keeps mending the ring. And mm -hmm. as you continue to go with the Lord, it actually just continues to get stronger. And mm -hmm. you know, and like the ring itself, it's like it can just continue to grow and get yeah. thick. And 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 so. But then, and then, so there's a lot of, just with all three of those, it's like, it's really important. And because what comes out of it is when you have an open heart, when you have the honesty and the humility piece of it, and you're trusting the Lord, no matter what's coming at you, and it's like, it can bring your heart rest. It can bring restoration. Um, and it also, it's like, it renews, and there's this, like, this sense of relaxation, meaning like, you're just which is kind of the same as rest, but just like, yeah. like in it, you can rest in yeah. the, yeah. the relationship that you have with the Lord. And I really just believe that God's like there. I just believe that for many people, there have that ring of a relationship with the Lord. There has been many that have had broken rings. Um, it's been ripped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's a, that's a messed up R. <laughs> but the Lord is just like, if you continue to just come after me and even the smallest ways like it will be restored mm -hmm. um there is restoration in the process well, but I, mm, the thing ahead. that you think's broken even if it is broken maybe it needed to be broken but your heart broken in it it's like the lord will restore that yeah and he will he will make it better than you know, you break something, you think, oh man, I'm really broken here. This was my world, this was my heart, this was my, mm -hmm. and God will restore it and put you in a position where you realize, oh, well, that's not as big of a deal as I thought it was, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Obviously, if you're Job and you lose 10 children, well, those are irreplaceable, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That, that's a, there's, there are certain things that are like, wow, I'm really crushed, but even when it comes to the loss of, a loss of loved ones, God can restore you and bring healing to your heart in a way that makes you go, I'm okay. 
Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And you're better off even. Not better off without the person or something like that, but it's just like you're just, you're, you're actually even better. It's like, how mm -hmm. is that possible? Well, only God. Yeah. Only God can do mm -hmm. it, you know? Yeah. As we continue to keep our hearts open, because a lot of times when we get hurt, we want to close our heart. Yes. You know, and we want to we want to protect ourselves. We want to do this self-preservation thing. And a lot of times with self-preservation, I mean, seriously, almost every time with self-preservation, it comes with lying and manipulating. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you realize you're doing it or not, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to protect yourself and you'll do that. And then, and then your trust in the Lord actually shrinks mm -hmm. and it doesn't expand. Yeah. You know? And, and so it's like, even if the, the trust is broken, you can still come with an open heart to the Lord. You can still come with just, you know, honesty and humility. And, and God will take any of that and he will use it. Yeah. Um, because maybe the only thing you can give him is just, this is just being honest. Like maybe your heart really is still like, I'm, I'm still, I, it's closed up, but I can at least be honest with mm -hmm. you and just start there, you know? And, and yeah. it's like, because the Lord can just use all of those things and, and expand. And it was really cool too. I had this, um, when we were talking about it yesterday morning, I was just hit with just realizing like how the Lord really can, helps us, you know? We're talking about like being honest and open with our own hearts, but um, we also have to realize God Himself is always coming after us, whether we we see it or know it or sense it. But God really is. He is. His heart is for us. And I think a lot of times, you know, we were talking about, especially with woundedness, because you know it happens in life and. And how like, you know, a lot of times if somebody's wounded and, you know, let's just say you have this cut on your arm and you're, you have to go to the doctor and, but you're, you're terrified, you know, it's, and so you just have it covered up and it's, and the doctor's just like, can I look at it? And it's like, no, like this is, no, you're, you're trying to preserve yourself by, mm -hmm. you know, keeping it covered, you know, yep. you're terrified of what they might do to you and all of that. And so it's just like, no, don't touch it, don't touch it. It's well, fine. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's okay. I think I can take it. You yeah, know? yeah. It's like, <laughs> and it's like, no, we, I need to help you. But, but you know, that doctor, you know, especially if you're dealing with children, they might, instead of going right after this cut, they might start, you know, talking to them about other things or maybe give them a lollipop or stickers or, you know, something that's something going that to... will change their... Will change... Will calm them down. Will calm them down yeah. and actually allow them to trust them enough to be able to look at it. Because they're and, only trying to do something good. Yeah. You know? And so I feel like the Lord does that for us personally, even with mm -hmm. our own lives. And in areas yeah. of our heart that have been really wounded, places that where it's like we're sitting there just like a child at a doctor's office, not wanting the doctor to do anything. And God comes and he starts doing things for us in a different area. Um, it might even be, and it might be as simple as, you have people in your life that are speaking encouragement to you when you need it. It could yeah. be, you know, there could be things that the Lord gives you physically, maybe through people. It's usually, you know, like giving, um, like for example, for our daughter, a lot of times the Lord, he'll just put it upon our hearts to, to buy her something. And so it's like, oh, she really likes, um, you know, these address. And so we might see a dress and we're like, go ahead and get that for her. Or you American know, Girl or, doll books. Yeah, or books or something, you know, she like. She's a reader. Whoa. Huge reader. <laughs> but, and so it might be something that's really simple. For me, literally, for our daughter one time, the Lord asked, it just put upon my heart to buy gum for her. I was like, gum? Yeah. Like, this is this crazy. And yeah. I actually held on to it for a couple of days because I was just waiting, like, when should I give this to her, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And and it was just the, you know, when it, it did happen, I, I gave it to her and it was something that God just used to really um, speak to her heart. And so that's what the Lord's talking about. That's He's an just, awesome story. Yeah, it is. It really <laughs> is. But there are things that the Lord will do for us and, and try and get to our hearts in other ways because ultimately He wants to be able to come in and clean up the wound and, and heal that broken place. But He also knows like 
for so many of us, it's like that place, especially if it's hurt, it's wounded, you're, you're, you're not going to be open. You're, you're, it's like, it's too much to really go there. And so the Lord's like, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, help you out so you can help, so you can, I can start trusting you. Yeah. And then as that trust is built, then it's like, oh, okay, maybe we can go into that area. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Clean that wound out. And then it just brings restoration overall. Yeah. And, and so I just, I really mm -hmm. loved though, the picture of just the word coming, you know, or the picture of like a clam, so many, you know, not having, not being open. Mm -hmm. And like the Lord though, it's like, you know, I don't know how clams work, but you know, they, they, they can close really tight. Oh yeah. But then there can be things where maybe the Lord brings in something and it just kind of loosens that. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes it, it really can be a, a word. For me, a lot of times, God can just speak through a certain word. There's just something that just There's sparks something, something in my heart, and then it just it can turns help on a open. Light. Yeah. yeah, it can just help open up. Mm -hmm. And um, and so even in that, God just like He is really helps. And so if we're working with the Lord, you know, if because I think sometimes we can be blind to what the Lord is doing because we really are closed off to it. Mm -hmm. It's like he is doing some things, but our hearts are just like, I'm not even really going to open up to it. Or what he's doing, <laughs> you recognize that that's not at all what the promise and this is how it's supposed to be. This is the, what's supposed to happen. That, you want me to go that? No, no. So you're closing yourself off to that avenue because in your mind you think this is the way it has to be. Yeah. And so I'm only going to come into agreement with stuff that looks like this. Mm -hmm. And then and then not necessarily say you'll miss it, but you will miss little opportunities here and there and but of course God uses all that to his good to get you right to where he wants you to. So Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like you know, I think it's important as you, you know, have that relationship with the Lord that you do open like when you start to recognize how he's speaking or how he's moving mm -hmm. to continue to open up to those things because yeah. then it's like the word can give even more of it and i know for myself there's just been a, a big process of realizing like when mm -hmm. the word is speaking because a lot of times for me it's so small it's easy to miss or it's easy to just not mm -hmm. see it but then as i've recognized oh the Lord here, he's giving me a way out of how my heart's feeling, or he's doing this in my life. And mm, I start mm -hmm. attaching to those things. Then it's like, whoa, he really does help me. But like you said, a lot of times it's not the way that I think I sh I would like him to help. It's sometimes. different than it's what your mind, different than what is, your telling mind you. is telling you. Yeah. It's like, well, Lord, if we were going to do, you know, I want things to be this way or that way, or like you're saying, it, it doesn't have anything to do with the wound. And so I just, I just really love how like, you know, the Lord, he, you know, even though this relation, it, relationship brings, it really is um, our heart saying like, Lord, I'm going to continue to be open to you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to trust you. Even when things are broken and sad, I want to just continue to come after you. But then at the mm. same time, the Lord is like coming after our own hearts. And, oh, that's what it was I was going to say is, um, just about a lot of times you know if there is an area of woundedness um the lord probably won't address that area right away um because he might be hitting other areas of your heart that are open and as he brings healing to those other areas of your heart or just brings about that trusting then it's like you will allow him in your heart to work on those wounded places. Yeah. But a lot of times we're just looking for those wounded places to be healed. And, and we're staring be, at it. What are you going to do with this? What are you going to do with this? What are you going to do with this? And God's like, wait, <laughs> let's start looking at what I am doing. Um, it and, may be the last thing he deals with. Mm -hmm. And then as he deals with that last thing, you look around and go, wow, look at what you were doing the whole time. Yeah. It's and like, I didn't wow. even, it didn't recognize it. And it only increases it. the trust again. Exactly. You Relationship realize. advancement, you know. <laughs> exactly. Score one for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, but yeah, that's really just what we had to share with you guys today. Um, just that the Lord has this, um, 
he is his heart is for relationship with us and just the more open we are the more um, we're communicating with him the more that we trust him even when it is difficult the stronger that that ring will be and yeah. and just that it will continue to expand and and become thicker and you know if you're just thinking like an, a, a ring and it's like that relationship with the Lord you know and if you have this ring or a band that's like really thick and just solid well that also protects you when it comes to the enemy coming against you it's like there aren't any cracks there aren't any holes and and so that's really what the Lord wants he wants our our hearts to have this just relationship with him that is super strong that really is like a fortress mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. every time if you know you have a great relationship so with someone you know if it's like you're not gonna I don't know it just there creates like it really is like a wall mm -hmm. around that protects um, you and sure. that person sure. and so more so how much more so with the Lord and so with your relationship it's built on trust there's honesty there's openness and and your heart just continually gives itself over to um, allowing the Lord to just prove himself in your own life how he wants to do it mm -hmm. it's like then the enemy whenever he comes it's like uh, well that's not true about my relationship with the Lord. No, that's not true about who my God is. Mm -hmm. And it creates a protection. And I think for so many, uh, myself included, that there's been this, in this journey, such a brokenness to that, that relationship with the Lord. That's why the enemy can come in. That's why he's, you know, he can come in and he hits those places that are wounded. But as the Lord has, you know, healed my own heart, um, it's like those places they they're just not it's not the same you know the enemy mm -hmm. can come at it and it's mm -hmm. like well no the lord he's done this in my life and i know that he's good and and so there's just like a stronger foundation there yeah well i was gonna say like well and a lot of times the enemy will come in or there'll be some sort of torment or some sort of you know tornado come through our mm -hmm. family or whatever um, and then the next day, a literal tornado comes through Nashville. It's crazy. During this COVID-19, 2020 year, <laughs> it was crazy. But it's like, during those times, you might think, Lord, what are you doing? Why are you like, and then it's like, why are you not, why are you not appearing to be doing anything right now and all this craziness? Is, and it's like, as far as our hearts are concerned, you know, the scripture says the Lord sits like as a refiner. Mm -hmm. over the over the, the the precious metals and the precious things because he a lot of times he's like you know i want to see what you're going to do mm -hmm. you know why is this happening why is this going on because i want to see what you're going to do you know because he's always he always has your your the purpose for which he created you he always has that in mind mm -hmm. that is his we don't always have that in mind yeah sometimes we're just like do we have enough for food today you know what I'm saying? Do we have enough for this? Or can we do this? And, and is this going to happen? And like children, they're only thinking about like what's here. Mm -hmm. You know, but the Lord is always thinking about the bigger picture. Well, and a lot of times these things that will take place, you know, the Lord's sitting and he's just refining things and he's, he's covering like you're saying. And so it's like, even in that, he's still, he's still investing in the relationship that later on you will see that he was investing and he was working and then again there's more trust and love mm -hmm. and like wow look at what you were doing the whole time when I thought you weren't doing anything and I was even pointing my finger at you saying you're not doing anything and you were always doing something mm -hmm. you know yeah so it's like God's always investing no matter what is going on in our lives you know yeah Addendum. Yes, addendum. And honestly, we could probably talk about this all day. It's so about, It's about relationship. That's what we're about. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, that's really what we wanted to share with you guys today. And I do pray that you are, are blessed and that, that your own relationship with the Lord would just continue to grow and um, just be just filled with just a, such a strength that the enemy just really cannot break it. And even just life circumstances won't break the mm -hmm. the bond and just that um covenant that you have with the lord and um yeah yeah so yeah. until tomorrow guys and he uh, is mega committed yes <laughs> <laughs> but until tomorrow guys we pray that you are blessed yes. and we will see you later love you guys bye bye
Whew. Girl, I'm tired. I'm going to go get myself a sandwich.